Sorry about that. I'm trying to get myself situated here. Hey, y'all. This is Stephanie from Large Family Diabetic Cooking. Um, today, we are going to make sweet potato casserole, and we're going to put some rolls together for Easter. So, I'm getting the base part of the sweet potato casserole together. So that way, all I have to do is put it in the freezer, pull it out tomorrow, put it in the refrigerator tomorrow night, <laughs> and then bake it. But um, I wanted to get these cooked up and everything. So I cooked my, um, my sweet potatoes for two hours, covered in foil. Which you can see right here. Um, I'm taking them out of the foil and putting them in the bowl here. Um, I let them cool in the foil because when you let them cool in the foil, the skins pull away from the potato. So, and I will show you that. As you can see, the skin is nowhere near the potato. I mean, you can just pull it right off. So I let it cool for two hours. Cook for two hours, cool for two hours. In the foil, do not remove the foil. And then your skins just pull right off. And then that way, the only thing you have to discard is your foil and your potato skin. So I'm gonna get the rest of those out. And then um, I got my milk and my butter in the microwave right now. Um, and that's gonna go with the rolls. And I'm going to try making the rolls with low carb flour. And it calls for six and a half cups of flour. But I'm going to do five, see where we're at. Because like I said, it has a consistency of um, Bisquick. So, last one. I got my warm water, a tablespoon of um, yeast and a tablespoon of sugar for our rolls sitting over there. There we go. Alright, let me pitch these get, and get this in the sink and then we'll move on and I'll wash my hands real quick. check. Oh, awesome, that's all bubbled up. Good, let me check my milk and my butter over here. Uh, that needs stirred up. And I think I put my spoon in the sink. So, we'll use this one. It'll do the same thing. Gotta get that warm butter melted. Okay, that's where I need that. So now we need a half a cup of sugar. Put 
eggs in or sugar in the rolls. I need two eggs. I'm trying to hurry up because I gotta make dinner. <laughs> Cinnamon and nutmeg and nutmeg, cinnamon and vanilla. And then I gotta add uh, evaporated milk. say a teaspoon of cinnamon and a half a teaspoon of nutmeg because nutmeg is very strong okay and then I'm going to open up this can of oops evaporated milk of evaporated milk. And now we're going to get ready to beat it all together. go get an apron. Okay, I also wanted to let you guys know that I have some irons in the fire. I want to try and get um, I want to try and get some aprons for y'all, t-shirts and hoodies, and maybe some baseball caps. Let's say large family diabetic cooking. And some of the other th things that I say, um, like one of the things I always say is one thing I can't stand is a dirty kitchen. <clears throat> That's another one of my little sayings. And those, that have, those of you that have been with me through, through the beginning <laughs> know my sayings. One thing I cannot stand is a dirty kitchen. All right, now let's get ready and mix these up.
Yeah, because that's splattering it everywhere. No turbo. all over my hands. <clears throat> Alright, so let me get these in the sink and then the garbage and then we're going to move on. need a clean towel because I made a mess. Yeah, I'm going to put this in a dish and then it's going to go in the freezer and then I'm going to take it out tomorrow and then I'll, um, I'm going to show you how to make my green bean casserole tomorrow and, uh, whoops, where's my little spurtle? There it is. All right. And then I'm going to show you how to make my green bean casserole tomorrow. And we're going to make the streusel topping for this. And then we're also going to roll out the, uh, the rolls. Uh, roll them into little balls. And then they have to uh, rise. So let's get this in here. Get the foil on it and get it in the freezer. And then tomorrow I'll show you how to make the streusel topping for this. Long at all. <laughs> all right. Like that.
me put this bowl in the sink real quick. out of the way and now we're going to get started on oh for the um sweet potato casserole you'll bake it in the oven for on 350 for 50 minutes uh the streusel topping is just flour butter oatmeal and brown sugar that's it so we're gonna put that together tomorrow but let's get our dough together because it's got to go in the refrigerator and sit overnight. These are overnight um, overnight dinner rolls. So I need my flour and I need six cups of that. I want to start out with five. That's five right there. Start out with five. All right, now it says add a half cup of sugar. Which, if I do two one fourth cups, that's a half a cup, so. Do two one fourth cups. One, two. Oh, that's what was in there. Okay. Um, two teaspoons of salt. Now I'm going to put this on and I'm going to start. Come on, get on there. Mixing this up a little bit. And let it do its thing. Flour, so that way when I need to add more, I have it. 
order some more of this flour because I only ordered 10 pounds of it because it's two pounds per bag and I only have one bag left. what's in the bottom and on the sides. <laughs> to put it in another bowl in the refrigerator, cover it up with saran wrap. Let me grease this bowl. from the bowl. But the, uh, the dough is nice and soft and amazing. So that's going to go in the refrigerator. I need to wash my hands because they're greasy now. I'm going to wash my hands real quick. All right, and we're gonna cover this with saran wrap, get it in the refrigerator. This will sit overnight, and tomorrow I will show you how to put away, put, put away, wow. <laughs> Make the green bean casserole, and um, we're gonna roll out our balls for the dough, and get them in a pan, and then they have to rise. I'm gonna cook the doughs, the, uh, the rolls tomorrow, so that way they're ready for Easter. So, that's pretty much about it. I wanna thank you all for coming in and joining me on Large Family Diabetic Cooking. My name is Stephanie. Uh, if we have any newcomers, I didn't get notified by email. Normally, when I get a new newcomer, I get notified by email. So, if there are any newcomers, welcome. Welcome to our family, and I hope you enjoy what you see. So again, this is Stephanie with Large Family Diabetic Cooking, and I will see you guys later. <laughs>